Hello everybody! Recently on Freesound, I've been involved in the making of seamless loops out of ambient tracks with a defined length. So I've decided to show you how quickly it can be done in Audacity. And rather than detailing everything first and then recap, let's cut to the chase. Important details will come later, make sure not to miss them. This is one of the sounds I worked on. So this is a real use case, here's what I've done. Select the tail of the sound. Click on the waveform where you want to split the sound, then press Shift-K to extend the selection to the end. Press Z to bring the split to a zero crossing point, then press Ctrl-Alt-I to split the tail into a new track. Now select the tail by clicking on the track header and align it to zero. Tracks align tracks start to zero. Then select the first part with a double click on the waveform and add the tail by holding shift and clicking on the track header. Then go to File Export Selection, choose Name and Destination folder and click on Save. Depending on your Audacity setup, you may see a warning dialog informing you that the selected tracks will be mixed down to a single stereo file. If so, just click OK. Tag the file if you want and press OK again. That's it. Let's check the result. If the sound is short, you can press Shift Play, Shift Spacebar works as well, to activate the loop mode. But since all you really need to check is the loop point, you can select the sound. Press Ctrl-C to copy it, click on the end button or press K to move to the end and press Ctrl-V to append the copy. Now you can play from anywhere near the border with a control click on the waveform. Now let's discuss the important details. For this method to work, there's a fundamental step I skipped, as this sound was already made like that. It begins with a fade in and it ends with a fade out. If the sound starts or ends all of a sudden, you'll clearly hear it at the scene. Also, if the sound has a rather constant level, simply mixing the start and the end together will suddenly double the volume in that region. To avoid that and to make a smooth transition between the end and the new start, you need the fades. The quickest way to add the fades is to select the relevant sound part and from the effect menu apply the fade in to the start and the fade out to the end. If the ambient track contains rather distinctive one-shot sounds, like for instance a creaking door, you may want to make sure such sounds don't fall in the fading zones, to make the scene region as featureless as possible. There's no fixed rule about the fade length, of course, just select a few seconds. 5 may be a good start if the sound is at least 20 seconds long. Now, what about that zero crossing thing? A sound that starts far from zero will produce an audible click. Same goes with the end. Can you hear the clicks? They're not part of our sound, we don't want them. Audacity can find the nearest zero crossing to the current selection for us. In the Edit menu you'll see the Find Zero Crossing option, with a convenient keyboard shortcut on the letter Z. Notice where the selection edges are and look where they move as I press Z. Let's listen to the adjusted selection. The clicks are gone. Doing this will make sure that your sounds don't start with a click when played, because the sound start has become zero thanks to the fade in. 
and the sound tail, even if generally loud, starts from the zero point Audacity selected for us. Now, let me show you a little trap that sometimes happens. Do you remember when, right after the split, I selected the first part of the sound with a double click on the waveform, rather than by clicking on the track header? Here's the trap. Right after a track split, the range at the end is still selected, even after moving the tail to zero. If you click on the track header now, the selection may include the region where the tail was, and the mix down will end with a few seconds of silence, wasting our effort. When this happens, even the Select All option, Ctrl A, will fall for the trap. Double clicking on the waveform will set the selection to the length of the sound, getting rid of the ghost tail. Let's review the whole process, applying fades included, for a generic case. Select the last few seconds, click, then Shift-K, and apply the fade out. Press Z to adjust the selection, and Ctrl Alt I to split the track. Bring the tail to zero. Select the start section as long as the tail. Audacity helps you by showing a vertical yellow line whenever your selection reaches the limit of any other track. Apply the fade in. Double click on the first waveform. Add the tail with a shift click on the track header. Go to File Export, Selection, and you're done. Have fun creating your own loops! Thanks for watching!